you hate the slurping noise, skip ahead like 10 seconds. <laughs> so much what's up you guys it's hannah welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog i just chugged the coffee so that i would get some energy because i feel like i have no energy right now how's everyone doing today sam the first night of bed when you left ron made out with two girls and put his head between a cocktail waitress's breasts awesome it is a beautiful sunny day here in new york and i am going to take advantage of that today we are going thrifting again i put air quotes around thrifting because like i said in my last thrifting in new york video i'm not sure what the prices are gonna look like. When I think of thrifting, I think of super, super affordable, very, very low prices. I don't know if that's what we're gonna get. Um, maybe I should call this vintage shopping, secondhand shopping. I did a thrifting video here in the city probably like a month ago or so, and I had so much fun. It was my first time thrifting in a while. I mean, I do go here and there, um, but I haven't been on like an actual whole day thrifting adventure until that video. It just reminded me how much I love it. And so I wanna make this into a series and I'm gonna call it Thrift With Me in NYC just because it rhymes. So welcome to episode two of Thrift With Me in NYC. I am really excited about this series. For me, this series isn't even mainly about thrifting. It's mainly about getting out and exploring places that I haven't explored much in the city. I just moved here in the fall of 2021. If you guys are new here, hello. I have visited the city so many times prior to moving here because I grew up in Pennsylvania, which it's only about a three, three and a half hour drive, but I haven't really started exploring the different neighborhoods and stuff until I moved here. This series for me is a way to get out and explore new areas of the city. I wanna try new things and sometimes I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like my comfort zone that keeps me going back to the same places all the time, like areas that I know, neighborhoods that I know, coffee shops that I know, stores that I know, you know what I mean? But I wanna branch out and this is kind of my excuse to go out and do that. Today we are heading to Brooklyn. I'm really excited to go and check out the thrift and vintage shops in Brooklyn. I'm going to Greenpoint specifically. I've heard that Brooklyn in general is a really good place to go for secondhand shopping, thrifting, vintage shops, and things of the sort. And I found this one little area in Greenpoint that there are like five thrift slash vintage slash consignment stores all in a very close proximity to each other. So I thought that would be perfect. I don't know how many of them I am going to get to today. I'm hoping for at least three, but I guess we're just gonna have to play it by ear, see how things are going, see what I'm finding. My aim of my thrifting adventure today is to seek out things that I can add to my wardrobe for the spring and summer. I have a lot of really good stuff for the fall and winter. I feel like I have most of my basics there covered. I have a whole section of my closet is for jackets. If you guys didn't watch my last video about my style, I go into it a lot more than that, but yeah, I feel like the fall and winter, I'm pretty much covered, but spring and summer, I don't have a ton of building blocks in my wardrobe to build like good outfits that I'm happy with. I want to do something about that and I'm going to start today. I actually did make a Pinterest board last night. I was shocked. I made a Pinterest board last night with different outfit picks inspo for spring and summer. So I think I have a good idea of what I'm looking for today. I don't really have a specific list of things I'm looking for because it's kind of, I don't have anything. <laughs> the only thing that I have in my wardrobe right now is a pair of jean shorts and like five of the same tank top in different colors. I need more basics. I need more pieces that can go with everything. So that's my mission today. And I'm really excited to head over to Brooklyn and just do some exploring in a new place and also check out some thrift shops, vintage shops while I'm there. Probably also hit up a coffee shop around the area somewhere. I know I just had a coffee, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know that one is not enough. So yeah, that's the sitch. I really need to stop stalling and just leave. I don't know why sometimes leaving my apartment gives me anxiety. I think that's what prevents me from going out and exploring as much as I maybe want to. Sometimes I just have anxiety about leaving the house because I know that this is like my safe zone and my safe space and my comfort space. Life is all about stepping out of your comfort zone because your comfort zone is a beautiful place but nothing ever grows there. That's what my mom always says. Hi, Charlie! The room is an absolute mess, but I want to show you my outfit today. Why is it a mess in here, Charlie? Was it you? This doesn't help. Nothing, nothing, this is not easy for me. It's really, really not. What about back here? Oh, that's embarrassing. You can't see it. This is so f***ing annoying. That's for 
time over desperate measures. Oh shit. Okay, this is my outfit. I have this white short sleeve turtleneck on. It's the weather's confusing today. It says the high is like 62 or something, which in theory is beautiful, but it says there's also 20 mile per hour winds, which is making it colder. So I'm like, I don't know how to dress for that. So uh, hopefully this is gonna be warm enough. So that's my shirt. I wear this shirt so much, it's sickening. And then these two things, my pants and my jacket are actually a matching set that I just got. They are from this brand called La Casa. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's spelled L-A-C-A. USA. This set is just so me. When in doubt, wear black is what I always say. Just this little jean jacket and matching pants and they're so flattering and I love them. For shoes, I don't have them on at the moment because I'm in my own home, but I'm gonna wear my just Air Force Ones to go with the white in the shirt. And then to tie everything together, I'm gonna bring my little white purse. I was gonna bring my black one. I think that actually would probably match better, but it's too small to hold my camera and everything else that I need to bring with me. So we're going with white today, but that is okay. Oh my God. I'm doing tricks up here. This is the outfit. I did a lot for that. So I hope you guys appreciated it. Why do I kind of look like Professor Snape? Anyway, I'm gonna go grab all of my shit and put it in my bag. And then we're gonna head out and we're gonna go over to Brooklyn. So I will see you when I get there. destinations but it is so beautiful outside lots of people walking dogs lots of people outside it's a beautiful day to be alive Okay, so I just went to this little coffee shop that I found on Google to try and get a cup of coffee. I'm walking there and I go up to the door. There's this girl just standing in the door, which I thought was weird. Went to open the door and it was locked. And there were two employees in there just staring at me and looking at each other. And I was like, what the actual f It was very weird. Now I feel awkward and I need coffee. When I walked into this coffee shop, well, first of all, I finally found a coffee shop that let me in the doors, which was great. When I walked into this one, there was a guy walking out and he like held the door for me, which was very nice. He was like, welcome to the best coffee shop in the universe. And I was like, I love your enthusiasm, sir. They had like a million syrups. I didn't know which one to get. So I just went with hazelnut and now I feel like I could have done better. Sun here is not doing it for me. Let's move to the other side of the tree. Ooh, this could work.
probably should get up and go to the next door because if I honestly sit here for five more minutes, I'm gonna fall asleep. The next door that I'm going to is Beacon's Closet. I think I might have some luck there. I think it's gonna be a lot bigger than the ones that I went to earlier. Vlogging in public gives me anxiety. Beacon's closet because they just had so much stuff. So then I decided to come over here to another street where there are a few stores and the one that I was excited to go to just now, they're closed on Mondays. I don't know why I didn't check that before I came, but yeah, I guess I'll try a couple more. I'm not having good luck. Y'all, I am so tired. I got home like an hour ago and just picture me walking in the door, dripping sweat, dropping all of my bags onto the floor immediately and shedding my clothes as soon as I walk in. Like I'm with every step, another layer is just peeling off. Basically at this point, sprinting to my dresser to grab a t-shirt and some shorts. And then I proceeded to sit on the couch and eat about a thousand pistachios. And now I'm here. I walked around for four hours. I lost count of how many stores I went to. One of the ones that I wanted to go to was closed today. Another one that I wanted to go to didn't exist. Like I went to the place where it said it was supposed to be and it wasn't there. Like there was nothing that would even make me think it was ever there. So I have no idea what is up with that. It's interesting because I went to so many stores but I only got, I think, five things total and three of them were from the same store. I'm not gonna lie, I did not have the best luck today. Also, I was proven once again that the prices here for secondhand shopping f***ing ridiculous. Out of this world. I'm like, in Pennsylvania, I would have gotten this button down that I'm looking at for three dollars. It, and I didn't get it for $3 here. It just is painful to me. That's one of the reasons why I only got a few things. I also didn't want to buy things just for the vlog, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to be really intentional about what clothing I'm buying, only getting things that I can see myself wearing a lot. I was getting a bit upset because I wasn't finding as much as I hoped to find, but that's just the thing with thrifting. Honestly, if you've ever been thrifting, you know that. It's hit or miss. Sometimes you find the coolest hidden gems ever and it's a great day and you come out with a lot of stuff and sometimes you don't. It is what it is. But I do want to show you what I ended up getting, the few things that I did get, because why not? So the first store that I went to was Awoke Vintage. This was very very cute very expensive i feel like it was a lot more curated than your typical thrift store it was a pretty small store but they had like a lot of good stuff some of it was just like really expensive and i couldn't justify buying it but then again i did get this shirt which was really expensive for a shirt and i bought it so anyway i got this t-shirt it's just this white graphic tee and i just thought that it was cool it has this like skier on it and it says aspen and then the back also has a skier on it and it's two neutral colors black and white so i can wear this with so many things and i just thought that it was really cool this is the only thing i got there uh this was 18 dollars
moving on. The next place that I got something from was Monk Vintage. That store was absolutely filled to the brim with stuff. Like every inch of that place had merchandise. It was crazy. And then I checked out to leave and the girl at the cash register was like, oh, by the way, we have a basement too. So if you like go around the block, you can go in down to the second level. I'm like, there's more? And the basement level had even more stuff than the one that I was at. I was like, where do you get all of these things? I ended up getting just one thing from there. I got this oversized button down shirt. This is from the men's section. I just really like green right now. It's very lightweight, perfect to throw over outfits in the spring and summer. I talked about this in the video I did about how I transformed my style. One of my outfit formulas was a tank top, shorts, and a button down. So I did pick up another one of these. This was the most unreasonably priced button down ever. It is in excellent condition, but this was $22. <laughs> I don't get it either. And then the very last store that I ended up going to, so Monk Vintage and this store, Crossroads, these were actually in Williamsburg. I walked back from Greenpoint to Williamsburg to catch the subway and I just figured I would stop at these because they were like right there kind of thing. Hi, Charlie. Hi. I ended up picking up three things at Crossroads. This is a store that I have heard about but i didn't even realize that they had one in williamsburg until i was in monk vintage actually and i saw people walking in with crossroads bags and i was like okay it has to be close then then i googled it and it was like right down the street so i was like this is perfect i wasn't even planning on going here but i'm glad that i did because i did find some cute stuff oh haha <laughs> first thing in this bag actually is some green onions <laughs> because as I should. On my way home, I picked up some green onions because I want to make this pasta tonight and it calls for green onions. And I went to Target and Trader Joe's both looking for green onions and they were literally sold out at both stores. So I was like, oh my God, this is brutal. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make the pasta tonight. It's over for me. And then I happened to pass by this guy on the side of the road who had a produce stand. And I was like, are you shitting me? And he had so many green onions. I was like, king. So this was 50 cents. I literally gave him two quarters and said, have a good day, sir. So anyway, that's my green onion story. Hi, Charlie girl. Do you smell the green onions? Is these green onions for you? Oh, you're getting such big girl. Look at her, my preciousness. I love you. All right, so crossroads. Let's go through what I got. First thing, this is actually the first thing I found when I was there and I was like, this is a f***ing steal. It is this cardigan in this, it's almost like a bone color. It's not white. The brand, this is the kicker for me, is Wilfred Free. You can't see it. That is an Aritzia brand. So I saw that and I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm gonna start salivating. This is also one of the softest things I've ever felt in my life. I tried all this stuff on and this is just so incredibly soft. So I picked this up. It was $15, which I don't really think is that bad for an Aritzia sweater that literally looks and feels like it was never worn for $15. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I love it. Just trying to get in the bag. Do you do you all see this? What are you doing, queen? Charlie, I, I need to get my stuff out of here, you crazy girl. Oh, she's purring. Oh my god, she's literally in the bag. Hello? I just can't pull her out, so I'll have to take a brief intermission and come back when she isn't in the bag anymore on her own will. Like, I refuse to remove her from the bag. She's having fun and she's purring, so I'll be back. Okay, she moved on from that bag, so we're good to go. The next thing that I got is this shirt, which I think is so freaking cute. I don't have any shirts like this. I thought this would be really good for like going out purposes, like going to the bars or anything. And it's also white, so it goes with a plethora of different color pants, which is perfect. This is by the brand Mink Pink. I've heard of this before. I don't have anything from this brand. It also still has the tag on it. So I guess this is brand new. Sure looks brand new. Anyway, I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be perfect for the spring and summer. This was $18.50, which is absurd. This is, I basically bought it brand new, like retail price. I don't actually know how much this would retail for. After some further research of looking at their website, I found out that 1850 is in fact not what retail price would be for a shirt from here. So 
Now I think I got a good deal. The last thing that I got is actually something that I saw right when I walked in and then I decided against it because I'm like, why do I need another one of these? Like this makes no sense. And then I was leaving and I circled around, I saw it again and I was like, okay, let me just like put it on. Let me try it on really quick over my t-shirt and I ended up buying it because I liked it so this is a little charlie this is a little beige light jacket it's from zara i don't have any like this this is giving it's kind of like a jean material but extremely lightweight so i thought that it could be perfect all year round definitely in the spring and like early fall and then summer if it's like at night and it's getting cooler. And I know that I'm gonna wear this a lot because it matches everything else in my wardrobe. And this was also 1850. They had a lot of Zara at that store. They had a lot of really good brands actually, but that's it. That's the last thing that I got. And with that, that is my haul of what I bought today. I am really happy about the pieces that I did get and I'm excited to wear them. And I obviously wasn't gonna buy a bunch of stuff just for the sake of the vlog so that I could have like a huge haul. You know, that just like defeats the purpose. Overall, I had a very fun day. The weather today was so perfect. Not a cloud in the sky. Greenpoint, after going there today for the first time, I really liked it. I feel like it gives me like a warm neighborhood feeling. It was really, really quiet there, which was nice. And I don't know, it just, I liked the vibes that I got from it. So I just had a lot of fun walking around and just seeing some new things and going into some new shops and stuff in a place I haven't really explored much. Like that's what it's all about. And that's what I really want to do a ton more, especially now that it is getting warmer outside and the weather is getting nicer. I definitely am going to take advantage of the fact that I live in this city and just try to explore as much of it as I can because I feel like there's just always something new to see here. Charlie, how did you, what are you doing? How did you get your head in there? Charlie, how the Okay. Charlie literally got her head stuck in this so this bag is going into the trash immediately i just recorded this whole thing and it wasn't recording i don't know how i don't know how anyway what i said was sorry for the really weird and abrupt ending to this vlog i wasn't sure at the time when i filmed this if i had enough footage throughout the day to make just that into the whole vlog or if I needed to add more. But then I put all the footage into Final Cut and was editing it and I discovered that I did have enough, but now I just don't have an outro, so here I am. I think that it happens more often than not that I have to record the outro after the fact, and I'm not proud of that, but we have to do what we have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I had a lot of fun filming this. I love going out and exploring and taking you guys along with me so you can see a little bit of New York City through my eyes. With that being said, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post, make sure you turn on my post notifications, it's the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.